everyone. I'm here again with Nicole, the gut girl. Thanks for being with us, Nicole. Thanks for having me. One of my favorite topics is just diet and how people eat. And, it, you know, whether it's uh, politics or whatever, it's like vegans, carnivores. Um, it's like vegans hate carnivores. Carnivores <laughs> hate vegans. Carnivores think vegans are stupid. Um, but I'm not going to knock anything. In, and you know we talk about this all the time. I've talked about this on the channel. I've said this before. And I've done vegan. But I know how to do vegan. And we were talking before we turned this on. There's some problems with vegan. But I'm going to tell you how I did it. And my blood work was as good as it's ever been doing vegan for six weeks. It was outstanding. And I'll tell you how I did it. But I know how to do vegan. And I think the problem with it, with carnivore, there's one rule. Eat meat. So let me just change that rule for a minute. No processed foods. You're, you're going to have some success. Right. 95% of the people are going to have yes, some success. You could change because that's the rule. When you say only meat, you're also saying no processed foods. Well, when you say I'm going to eat vegan for whatever reason you choose, that rule's not in there. You can eat all the processed foods you want to eat. Right. That's why if you're going to do vegan, you better do it right. Right? Absolutely. And I, I'm of the same mindset as you are. I have done vegan also, um, primarily because I want to see what my body does when I'm talking to someone in my practice about all these different diets. So I have tried them all so that I can see how they work with me and how I feel doing them. But I, like you, I do it correctly. Um, I do not eat processed foods at all. And when I was doing, when I was eating a vegan diet, I did not put one piece of processed food in my mouth. Yeah, and what I did was, first of all, and, and, I, and I went very strict vegan, um, and I was amazed. But then I started looking at my macros. My macros were about what they always are. When I'm, I'm kind of more of a keto, yep. you know, I'm not carnivore, but my carbs are usually between, you know, 40 and... 80 or 90. So I'm more of like a keto. Mm -hmm. But what I did was, first of all, you have to have a good protein. Because if you're going to go vegan, you got to make sure you get your protein and you have to make sure you get all the essential amino acids in the right proportion. So there's a couple um, vegan protein powders that I really like and I like the taste and so on. But they have leucine, Two to one over isoleucine and valine. Those are the branch chain amino acids. Then it has all the essential amino acids. So when I did vegan, I was pounding that. Now, these protein powders are a little more expensive because plants don't come with those ratios. But you can get it in a healthy plant-based or vegan protein. Right. That's what I did. I was pounding that and I was getting my protein up to 140, 150 a day like I do when I'm not eating vegan. Now, how do I get the rest of my calories? You can't just go, for me, I'm, I'm over 60. You can't just go eating rice and mashed potatoes. That would be very harmful for right. me. But a vegan can technically eat all the rice they want. They can eat all the sugar they want. So I didn't do that. I ate more nuts and I stuck with vegetables. Like I ate a lot of spinach mm -hmm. and I ate a lot of leafy greens. I mean, not a lot, but I ate plenty during the day to satisfy me. I filled in the rest of my calories with nuts and things like that. So I was getting more fat and more protein and that's what I did, but I didn't eat any processed foods. Just because you're a vegan doesn't mean you should do something dumb like eat processed foods. That's what I didn't do. And that's the same that I did too. But in, in the flip side of that too, I've done carnivore, you guys. 
and I don't, it's very hard to do carnivore and not just stick to meat. So there, the rule prohibits you from going outside of that. So the, the water does not get muddy. You have to stick within the rule. Yeah. And I love carnivore. I do carnivore. I can, I can usually only hang with carnivore for about two weeks, but I always, if, if someone's older, if they're in their fifties, sixties, seventies, they're overweight and you know, they're, they're trying different things. Um, that's a good one for an older adult. And it's a great reset right. because now look, you know, you're getting enough protein if you're eating carnivore. Right. And, you know, that would be for me, meat and eggs. Like I said, I can only handle it for about two weeks and then I need to get at least a, a little bit of carbs in there. Right. Um, but it's a great reset. And if you're an older adult, that's a great one because you're going to get your protein and you're not going to get processed foods. And people will be amazed at how their body feels. Inflammation goes away. It's absolutely amazing for most people. Not everyone. There's probably 5% that it hits them hard and it's right. Their bodies don't like it. So you got to try it for yourself. Well, um, I'm, you know, carnivore. It's, it's great. Um, for most people, but not everybody, you guys hear me say all the time, everyone is different. And that's what I like about your practice, Nicole, is that you treat everyone differently. You can help someone if they want to be a vegan, right? If, If they're, totally bent on being a vegan, you're going to help them be a vegan, a healthy vegan. Yes. And you know what? People have ethical reasons and so on why they want to be vegans. I get it. And I totally support that. You know, hey, all you carnivores out there, which I'm more of a carnivore. I don't, well, you know, don't leave me nasty comments. Well, actually, <laughs> okay, you can leave me nasty comments. I like them. <laughs> so um, any last thoughts, Nicole? You know, the last thought I'll ha- that I'll say is, is- the, probably the same thing in politics. The camps have got to stop bashing each other and just use what it's useful for in the, in the particular situation. And that's what I try to do in my practice is, you know, respect where somebody's coming from, but also respect what the diet is actually made of. So, and do it properly. Yeah. So Nicole, how do people get a hold of you if they want to reach out to you and find out more about what you do? You can reach me on Facebook, which is The Gut Girl. You can go to Instagram, which is The Gut Girl NV. TikTok is The Gut Girl. And you can always reach me by my email, which is thegutgirl1 at gmail.com. Nicole, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me.